Hi folks, this is Glenn B. from BallseyesBoomers.blogspot.com and what you see in front of you is my Marlin 336 rifle in 35 Remington caliber and what I'm going to do today is present you with a brief informational video about how to disassemble it for a field strip for cleaning purposes. I'm not going to show you a detailed strip just a field strip which is uh, taking it apart just far enough to make sure that you clean it the right way you want to clean the barrel and the action from the breech end as opposed to the muzzle end on the other end of the rifle it saves a lot of wear and tear on the muzzle before we do anything uh, further with this rifle I'm going to do uh, one of the things that you should always do when you handle a rifle is, is ascertain whether or not it's loaded and to do so keeping my finger off of the trigger I'm going to open up the finger lever and I'm going to open it all the way, operate it all the way and that opens up the ejection port, it brings the bolt back, it's now uh, easy to see inside of here and you can't tell that I am but uh, I definitely am, I'm looking this way into the chamber I see that there are no bolts in the chamber just because you open an action doesn't mean that all the bolts are going to be extracted for that the bullet will be extracted from the chamber if you have a broken extractor it could be stuck in there if you close the action and squeeze the trigger the gun could still fire so I look in there to see that it's not in there I also stick my pinky in there and I feel to make sure that there's no other ammunition in there uh, no ammunition has come out of the magazine tube into the action uh, there's nothing ready to be loaded there's nothing already loaded the gun is in a safe condition I'm now going to close the lever all the way and you can see that leaves the hammer back. Uh, when that leaves the hammer back it allows me to do something. Uh, I hope you can see it here. This is the um, this right here under my finger is the safety button. Uh, it sticks out the other side of the rifle right now and I'm going to depress it from the other side. You heard that click. That click means that uh, it's functioned all the way and you can see it's sticking out of the side of the rifle now. Um, what this means is that the hammer is now blocked from falling all the way should you squeeze the trigger. This is a hammer drop safety. It does not block operation of the trigger. Once again, this is a hammer drop safety. And if you squeeze the trigger now, the hammer will fly forward and it will hit a bar that blocks its forward progress. Um, you place the safety on while you're cleaning this rifle as per the instructions from the manufacturer however do not take the safety off do not squeeze the trigger while the rifle is disassembled because it can cause damage either way if you have the safety off it can cause damage if the hammer flies forward and if you have the safety on it can cause damage if the hammer flies forward the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the finger lever. I'm going to open it up about one quarter to one third of the way of its forward travel. I'm going to then take a screwdriver with a blade that's going to fit into that screw. This is the finger lever screw. I'm going to now remove the finger lever screw. By the way, all the while that I'm doing this, I am 100% certain that this rifle is pointed in a safe direction regardless of the fact that I know that it is unloaded. I'm still going to treat it as a potential threat and I'm going to keep it pointed in a safe direction. I now remove this screw and you can place the screw right there on the table and leave it there or if you're more of a klutz like I tend to be I'm going to take the screw and I'm going to put it in the, box, the top of my screwdriver box uh, into the lid. It has a rim all the way around it and I'm going to take that and I'm going to place that on the side of my table out of my reach so that there's a whole lot less uh, chance of me hitting it and knocking it onto the floor that screw is a pretty big one but sometimes they can still be hard to find if you drop it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the finger lever out I'm just going to pull it straight out uh, at whatever angle it was sitting at I'm going to pull it out straight along that angle it comes right out I'm going to place that on this side. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the bolt. This is the bolt sticking back here. In order to make it a little bit easier what I do is I depress the uh, the hammer a bit and I start to pull it back I make sure that I'm not going to hit my finger it's going to go over my finger otherwise you could cut your finger and I'm going to pull the bolt out 
the reason I pull the hammer down like that is because it makes it a lot easier to remove the bolt if you don't you have to tug the bolt a lot harder there's always a chance that if you tug it hard enough and it's slippery from oil that you can tug it out and it'll go flying out of your hand so I depress the hammer uh, which is uh, putting pressure on it before depressing it and uh, I pull it out once you, once you depress the hammer there is no pressure on the bolt the bolt slides right out there's one other piece to remove that you can't see right now but it's in the ejection port and I'm going to put my my pinky finger in here I'm going to run it back if your pinky finger doesn't fit you can just uh, pick the rifle up turn it so that the uh, ejection port is facing down toward the table and give it a couple of shakes and the ejector should fall out as you can see there uh, the ejector is coming up on my finger now it's a V shape and if you stick your pinky into it enough the tension that's uh, that's inherent in this piece will catch onto your finger and you can just pull it right out I take this piece and I also put it in the top of my screwdriver box uh, because I don't want to lose it this rifle uh, is now ready for cleaning um, you can clean it now from the breech end going toward the muzzle it saves a lot of wear and tear on the muzzle you can get in here and you can clean the uh, action out as good as you can um, I suggest using something like uh, q-tips but you want to make sure that you don't leave any fabric behind any action that could later cause a feeding problem or some other type of malfunction um, that's about it it's a very uh, simple procedure to take this rifle down Again, no, I will give you that warning. Make sure that you don't operate the trigger or that you don't bang the trigger on anything and allow the hammer to fly forward because in this condition it can and will very likely damage the rifle and you'll have to bring it to a gunsmith or send it into the manufacturer for repair and my guess is that would be a very costly repair. I will show a uh, second video um, on how to reassemble a rifle but if you don't get a chance to see that one basically you reassemble it uh, in reverse order you want to make sure to put the extractor back in um, you can see there's a little nub sticking out of the extractor here and that's the part that fits in into the frame on the uh, inside the inner uh, part of the left side of the frame that actually goes into a groove uh, this whole piece goes into a groove and that part fits into a depression um, very simple to get it back together but you don't want to mess this up uh, you don't want to have it out of position and then put the bolt back in and jam it it might be a costly repair to have it taken apart again and to put it back into working condition that's it until the next video which will be the reassembly video thanks and have a nice day